think you and I both know that there's been godly men that separate on this one issue, mm -hmm. and that is which comes first, regeneration or faith? Oh, that's easy. Yeah. <laughs> well, that sums it up, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, this is the that continental divide. sums it up. R.C. Sproul told me this is the continental divide yeah. of theology. Do you believe and then you're born again? Do you believe in order to be born again? Or are you born again and the first evidence of that is you believe in Jesus Christ? You want to know the answer? The, the answer is you are born again. And in that split second you believe in Jesus Christ. It's in, people aren't walking around Dallas who are born again who have never called upon the name of the Lord. It all takes place in a split second, but there is a cause and effect relationship. There's not a chronological separation, but there is a theological separation and a logical separation. It is the new birth that enables you to call upon the name of the Lord and even causes you to call upon the name of the Lord. So, regeneration precedes faith and regeneration produces faith. Those two sentences that I just gave you, which could be one compound sentence, may have been worth the whole study for you to come today. If you're wrong there, it's like an errant tee shot Kent, uh, <laughs> you don't want to hit it 300 yards if it's errant because you're just further away. So if you're wrong here, given enough time, you're going to be wrong in 30 other areas of doctrine, okay? You're going to do evangelism a certain way. You're going to see your own conversion a certain way. You're going to witness to other people a certain way. And if you're wrong here, you, you know, you, you're, you're going to be wrong 20 other places. So you've got to be right here, even for your own soul, to know, I would want to know what is it that God did in me? I would want to know as clearly as possible, God, what did you do in my soul? And what caused this? Why out of my family am I the believer and others are not? Why? Why? Why is this? Here's why. And standing behind the doctrine of regeneration is the doctrine of sovereign election. And the only ones who are birthed into the kingdom are those whom he chose for himself before the foundation of the world. And all of theology is just interwoven into one perfect tapestry. And there's not a thread out of place. And so one doctrine is connected to 20 other doctrines, which are connected to 50 other doctrines, and it's just all perfectly woven together.